Hey everyone, welcome back to my studio for another painting tutorial. Today we're going to be painting a pretty butterfly on the rocks. So you're going to, that sounds like a drink. <laughs> um, this one is uh, from a photo submitted by Katie on Patreon. Thanks Katie for sending this. Katie really wanted to learn how to paint rocks as well as pretty butterfly. So a lot of people have a hard time with learning how to paint rocks and I'm gonna break it down in a really simple, basic, easy way for you guys all to learn how to do it today. So I'm gonna just go over the colors, the canvas we're using today as well. I've got an eight by eight stretched canvas here and I'm gonna be painting, pre-painting this canvas with Mars Black. You can use any black that you want, of course. This is just what I happen to have. And then I've also got the following colors here, Titanium White, Blue Turquoise, Thalo Blue, Cadmium Yellow Cool, Burnt Umber, almost said Burnt Sienna, <laughs> and then I've got Cadmium, or not Cadmium, actually, this is a Crimson Naphthol Red. So I'll have a full list of these colors below this video in the description box as well. And Katie, you're also going to be receiving um, this painting um, as a gift and a thank you. It's something that I've been offering for uh, quite a while now on my Patreon. So all Patreon members are included in this. All of you are welcome to submit your photos once you join. I'll render the photo for you, create a tutorial, and gift you with a painting. So thank you so much for all of your love and support over there. It means so much to me, and I hope that you guys are happy with this tutorial and many others to come. Happy 1st of June today, 2023. I've got so much in my garden right now, including butterflies, so um, this makes it extra special for me to be painting this one for you guys today. I'm going to take black. I'm going to take my flat brush here number 20 flat brush from my set of brushes and I want to thank you guys all they're just about sold out I'm unbelievably grateful and thrilled that um, they were a big hit and they sold out so quickly uh, I hope you guys are enjoying yours I know I love mine what I want to do first um, is just take a spray bottle finally missed my canvas and then blend it around evenly coat the canvas with just a little bit of water get rid of all those drips this is going to help you blend your acrylic out and get that coverage quicker and easier so i'm just going to directly take my black paint here and just apply it right to the canvas and i'm just going to spread that around I'll probably have a little bit left over that I can cover the sides with and the edges. And the next layer is going to be burnt umber. So I'm going to be using my number 14 filbert brush for this. I'm not going to get my brush wet. I'm just going to go right into my burnt umber and I'm going to start going over and just blocking in. The reason why we want to block in like this and leave a little bit of the black exposed is that so we get that really dark uh, shadow and outline in between and around our rocks. Okay, so we've got our burnt umber. The next color I'm going to be adding is some yellow. I'm going to take some of this yellow and I'm going to start adding this. It almost looks a little green, doesn't it? It's because yellow over top of, well, it's it's playing on the black base that we've got. So that's kind of one of my, well, it is one of my color recipes um, for creating a light olive green or shades of green is by just taking some yellow depending on, it'll change uh, depending on if you're using a cool or warm yellow. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to be using um, one of my crafting toothbrushes and I'll show you a really easy and quick way to create all the tiny little gravel, tiny, tiny pieces of like sand and gravel and little tiny rocks. So this is just going to save you so much time and you'll see how effective this step is. So I've got my toothbrush here. I get, you know, like a whole pack of these for a buck fifty at the Dollarama or Dollar Tree. And you want to make sure that you're dunking it in the water and you want to have those drips. You want it to be pretty watered down. So what I'm going to do is take some white. I'm going to mix it, mix that white. See how you get a yellow ochre? 
when you take white, burnt umber, and yellow. And of course, again, it depends. The shade, the outcome will depend on if you're using warm and cool tones. They'll be, they'll uh, slightly differ. So I'm just going to turn my brush over now that I've got it mixed up. And I'm going to turn my brush over like this, place my thumb here, and aim and spray. Now you can also kind of give it a little tap like this. Careful of what you've got around that you don't want um, to get sprayed on. Um, if your paint underneath the yellow and the burnt umber are still wet, then you can easily just take a little bit of um, your white. I've got a number three round brush here and I'm going to start coming in with my little misshapen circles, squares, and ovals. So you want to just kind of wiggle around and make them random. See how it's picking up the colors underneath? So we're going to get multi-tonal rocks this way. You want to place them uh, pretty close together. And then just kind of dab a few smaller ones. But by far, this is the easiest way of painting rocks. I find the less I, th I think about it, and I kind of just don't hesitate and I go for it, the better the outcome. Otherwise, things can look a little bit too contrived and um, it just kind of takes the organic feel of it away. So we'll have some bigger rocks. I'm going to go over this little one here. And keep in mind that parts of the rock or rocks have little dips and divots in them so they'll be a little bit darker in some areas so don't try to make the entire rock all one color apply you know like a little bit of paint more to the side and then as it works out of the brush maybe just add another one there so now I hardly have any paint in my brush then you can just lightly kind of scumble over So I'm going to come in and start adding a few larger ones now. So just think about, instead of, instead of intimidating yourselves by thinking about painting a rock and worrying about it looking like a rock, this is all you have to do. Just think, I'm painting shapes. I'm painting a circle, but it's going to be a little bit misshapen, so it's not going to be a perfect circle, which is really easy to do because if you try to paint a perfect circle, it's you pretty much can't, right? It's hard to do that. So this is a fail-proof uh, way to paint rocks. I'm like you guys. I get um, overwhelmed by things I'm not familiar with painting, and then, you know, in the past, I've just stayed away from it and put it off but lately it's all about conquering those fears, painting things that I haven't or that I've been putting off. And it actually feels really great to face those, your fears. Um, it makes you a better painter. You learn a lot. You learn a lot about yourself and painting. They go together, you know, like you just realize that you're capable of so much more than you thought you were. And you all are. If you're watching right now, I know you have it in you and within you to accomplish more than you think you can. And you can take that any way you like. It can apply to so many things, not just painting. So I want to send good energy, good vibes out to all of you guys. Okay, so see? Nothing to it. Just always remember the only thing that's holding you back is yourselves.
You've all got it within you to do this. And feel free to share what you've learned here today. When you follow along with my tutorials, we've got a Facebook group for that where you can share your versions. I'm gonna be using my number 14 filbert brush for the basic shape and outline of my butterfly. I do have the following colors. Uh, I'll be using a little bit of red, a little bit of burnt umber, some phthalo blue, and some turquoise, and a little bit of white. So I'll start the outline, I'm just gonna, or the base coat and outline with burnt umber and phthalo blue. So it's really, really dark. You could mix a little bit of black in there if you want. I don't have black on my palette right now, and so I'm just gonna use what I have already. Okay, so the butterfly is on a bit of an angle, so I'm gonna just start by adding a little line here for the body. And I'm gonna go out this way and pull in, making it a little bit narrower, bringing it in narrower, and then out like that. We'll fill it in. Now we've got one, one petal down. Mix up some more paint. I wanna have it mainly on the tip of my brush and I'll do the same thing. Now it may not be uh, exactly even on this side. The reason being is that it depends on the angle of the butterfly. Sometimes they have one wing down a little further or sometimes they're just, their bodies turn just a little bit. So I don't want you guys to worry about trying to replicate it as like a mirrored image. Um, the pattern somewhat, the shape somewhat, but please don't get um, overwhelmed and intimidated uh, by that. So just think about how beautiful butterflies are and how easy this is. So just follow along step by step. And if you want, you can also just sketch it out beforehand. That's fine too. You do whatever it is you have to to feel comfortable. And see, I'm gonna come out this way now and I'm gonna bring it up and over. Turn my brush this way, pull in, pull in, narrower. Just like that. Pick up some more paint. And then and there's a tiny little space in between. And then back in right here. I think this is a really pretty um, base coat too. The color of this is really rich and almost like a, I don't know, it's kind of almost like a deep, Prussian blue mixed with phthalo green. Okay, so once you get the basic shape that you want, um, you want to just rinse your brush out. So I'm going to rinse my brush out. I'm going to dry this off as well. Now, just before I dry this off, oh, there it is. I was wondering where my <laughs> little round brush is. I've got a number three round brush and I'm going to take a little bit of water on it. I'm going to take more of my burnt umber and phthalo blue, fold it around, twist, get a little bit on the tip of my brush. I'm gonna add a little oval, a little flat oval like that, little egg shape. And then I'm gonna come wiggle, wiggle, wiggle for the body. Load my brush up again. And I'm gonna add a little line here. Now I'm resting my pinky on the canvas. That allows me to have more control when using a small brush for skinny lines. I'm then just gonna pull that over 
and then another little line there and pull it over. I'm going to take a little bit of white, mix that up again with a burnt umber, phthalo blue. So we've got sort of a bluey gray color. I'm going to add two little dabs here and then wiggle in the center for the body because it's sort of like that powdery um, texture and pattern to it that it has. And then you can just add a few little, few little scoops here for the body and a little outline, light powdery kind of highlight here on this side. And I'm just going to go from here with my round brush, pull, pull, leaving those dark lines in between. So you can do a few of these. A little like that and then a few little lines in here push pull slightly arched now this one we're gonna do the same as here I don't have a lot of water in my brush I don't use a lot of water when I paint um, but my brush is a little bit wet still, just kind of damp enough that I can apply uh, a nice thin layer. Okay, the next color, which I'm really excited about, by the way, I'm going to take my phthalo blue, a little bit of white. Got to add a little bit of white in there so that it really shows up over that dark base. Okay, and because it's going to dry darker, acrylic paint dries darker. So if you're just new to acrylic paint, it does that. So we've got a few little dabs in here, but this side is really dark. So we don't want to add uh, too much blue there. And I'm going to come in right here and start going over with my blue we visited took our grandson to uh, and our kids who are all grown up now to uh, a butterfly world and we saw the this isn't a I don't know this isn't a blue morpho butterfly um, and if you don't know what a blue morpho butterfly is you should definitely google that because they are so beautiful um, we saw many of those and just all sorts of gorgeous butterflies it's such an experience to go to those places Okay, the next color I'm going to be applying is my blue turquoise. I'm going to be using that with a little bit of white. I haven't washed my brush out, so there's a little bit of that phthalo in there as well. Twist, pull, work out that paint out of your brush that's going to the top. You don't want to have all that build up. Okay, so we're going to come in here now, start from the bottom here, and then lightly pull and flick, just a gentle, so it kind of just lightly uh, blends in. And then we're going to add a little scoop, scoop, a 
Hope you guys are doing well so far, enjoying this. Take your time. It's not a race. Everybody paints at their own speed. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You just want to make sure you're trying. And we're just going to get these ones here. Now I'm going to take some more white and some blue. I'm going to add a little dab here. Dab, dab, a dab here, dab here. a little bit more white on my brush you can do these little scoops on the edge leave us leave a space while you do it scoop leave a space scoop another scoop scoop a little white a shape in flattish oval or blob. <laughs> Remember, it doesn't have to be exact. So if you want to do all your scoops first, if that's easier for you, go ahead and do that and then come in with the next little dabs here and there. Now I'm going to come in and add, oops, I'm going to add a little bit more white in there. My little dabs in between here. And then the two like we have over here. Next color we're gonna be adding is red. So I clean my brush off. I'm gonna go into my Napful Crimson. Add a little bit of white first just so that it shows up. So it's gonna look pink first, and then we'll go over with the red. So we've only got three, well, actually about four, four of these, and they're also little scoops. So those are gonna be right here after the blue on this side. So a little scoop, 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 and then our last one. Okay, so remember this is just the light pink first and then we'll dry it off and come in with just straight red over top two three and four now as that dries um i could just use a hair dryer but however i want to come down here and add uh, another highlight to this blue i want to make it look even frostier so i'm going to take more white clean brush of course rinse all that pink out I'm gonna get any water out of my brush and make it a little just drier than that. Okay, and then add a scoop again. Lots of scoops. <laughs> scoop, little pull and flick. See how we're just kind of enhancing, we're making it look ombre. A little scoop inside, break it up higher in the center, and then thinner on the bottom or either side like that. Gentle pull and flick. Scoop, pull, flick. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my phthalo blue now. And what I'm going to do is just clean up some of the edges on here. I'm going to go in between, in between my scoops. I think this will be the final thing, but I might add a little bit more to the blue on the butterfly. Final red, straight red this time. And we'll just 
dab, 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 lightly over these areas. There we have the, the light pink that we added first. Then I'm going to mix up a little bit of red with my phthalo blue. Uh, let's add a little bit of blue turquoise and white in there. A little bit more red. So I'm making sort of a shade of deep, whiny purple. Because this one gets a little darker down here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take with a clean brush some blue turquoise and white. And add a little bit more thickness and brightness to these as I notice they're drying a little bit darker. I'm just going to catch this edge here right on the other side of the red and then back to my burnt umber phthalo blue clean up the edges here a little bit more right there this painting is all done this was really a joy to paint. Thank you again, Katie Wilson, for submitting the photo on Patreon. I'm going to mail this painting to you. Um, and thank you guys all for watching, for all of your support, and for subscribing here to my channel. Take care, everybody. Hope you enjoy painting this one. You can share this in your painting groups, family, and friends. And I'll see you all soon in my next video. Take care. Bye!